Sports. And welcome back to Jordan 54's new Super Mario Brothers Wii Walkthrough. In the last episode, we finished off World 7. Thank God. Now we're in World 8, an area of no toad houses and nothing but levels, you can see. Pretty much all of the levels range from kind of decent to very fun. Uh, the last level before the airship is the really fun one. The kind of decent one is this one. Although there, uh, this one right here, uh, the one right in the middle with the water surrounding it. That one is abysmal. I really hate that level. It might be the toughest level in all eight worlds. I don't know. <laughs> Probably just because of the star coins and because of the tunnel vision and because it's underwater. Ugh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Next part. But for now, we're doing the first three levels of this world. Like we always do in every world. Um, this is just purely by coincidence. Uh, I start every single uh, part one of each world has been um, the first three levels. Just the camera a little bit. Oh, that's crooked. There we go. And let's begin. I have an epic advantage because I, I'm starting with a propeller mushroom. Let's see how long that lasts. Oh, by the way, this, uh, this world has its own uh, ground theme and underground theme. It's awesome. Alright, so this level is really fun, but you're going to have to keep moving uh, because, first of all... Oh, what hit me? What the heck? That was random. Because, uh, first of all... Oh, as you can see, meteors are falling from the sky. Uh, at least they look like meteors. They're actually just molten rock coming from that uh, volcano, which kind of reminds me, uh, apparently there's this volcano in Iceland that's supposed to erupt pretty soon, which is kind of funny considering I just had a vacation in Iceland uh, just a little while back in July. It was really fun. We went all over the place. The lava fields there looked like Mars. It was so random. All right, so jump off there when um, it's up high and uh, you'll get your first star coin. And the other threat in this uh, level are those clouds. Take two. All right, um, just gonna take cover under this. If the camera's good. All right, just making sure. Ah! <laughs> that was close! Whoa! Whoa! All right. Anyways, um... So we're gonna run through here. Uh, these meteors, they can break blocks, uh, regardless of whether or not they're bricks. Now, for your second star coin, take this pal block over here and drop it right there. So the star coin can drop there, your second one. Yeah, as you can see, that meteor right there, it uh, just broke a question mark block. Uh, these clouds are very deadly. Very deadly indeed. Just keep running. The geysers are very deadly too. Don't want to get hurt by them. Alright, keep going, keep going. Okay. Now, just waiting for this geyser to drop. Alright, so, to get the, your third star coin, you don't actually have to be big. If you're not big, you can let the meteors smash through those bricks. But it's definitely advised to be big because those clouds will probably engulf you before the meteors can break all of those blocks. So, with that done, so is the level. Oh yeah, Mario time! And that'll take you to 8-2. Uh, this is another point of interest for anybody who's doing a speed run. 
Uh, because this level has a secret exit. And this is the only level that has a secret exit in World 8. If you took the Ghost House secret exit in World 5 while doing your speed run, you are probably going to want to take this secret exit, because you'll be skipping a lot of levels. And for anybody who's 100%ing the game, not only is it good to get the secret exit for just the sake of getting a secret exit, but also to uh, unlock another level, which we will deal with uh, some other part. All right. All right, so you can't go in there. Uh, this level is pretty cool. I like how there are super Goombas here. They're really big. The ones that turn into two uh, Goombas when you stomp on them. They're a powerful kind of Goombas. All right, you're gonna have to be quick if you want that Fire Flower, otherwise that giant spike ball is going to shatter the block and not empty its contents. So. Jump off that platform and get your first star coin. Flag pulls right there. All right, keep going. Pointless donut. Although, actually, it's not really that pointless, considering I might need the one up. I'm not satisfied with 99. Up. Uh, I'm not satisfied with 97. Uh, and I'm probably not really that satisfied with 98, but hey, what can you do? All right, so I'm just going to let these Goombas spawn as much as they can. Uh, and then, oh yeah, I love doing that. That's so fun. Ow! That's not fun. All right, second star coin's right in there. Uh, yeah, got it. If you freeze a Goomba like right on that uh, red pipe where that Goomba was frozen, uh, the Goombas will stop spawning out of the pipes, I believe. Um, we'll get the secret exit later. First, we have to get the normal exit. Okay, that small mother spike ball, I guess, is going to... Uh, yeah, the mother spike ball also kills the other spike balls. It's kind of weird. Ow! Uh, uh. Anyways, third star coin's right in there. It's another alcove star coin. And you're home free. <clears throat> Wee! Wow, I've actually I've never actually performed a successful triple jump there. Huh. Walk through luck? I don't know. This is the second time where I've been looking at all of my videos and saying, this is my best run through of this game to date. That happened in Superstar Saga too. And that's saying something considering, well, I've beaten this game like 30 million times. Yeah. Um, Alright, so we're going to head back to this level to get a secret exit, and I will see you there. Alright, for your secret exit, uh, just dodge all these spike balls here, wait for a gap in them, and then run through here. And this is a pipe that will lead to the secret exit. Now, if you decided against the secret exit and want to go back, you can always go in that pipe. Now, um, there are lots of coins here. You do, if you're not speedrunning this level, I highly recommend going for the coins. Go for the gold, peepels. Go for the gold. Ugh, come on. How? By hitting that pal block and waiting. And you'll get as much coins as you'll ever need. Unless, of course, you want more. Then you can play New Super Mario Bros. 2. <laughs> uh, now, by the way, uh, these platforms move super fast, and because of that, so do the Goombas. The Goombas are like... Sonic, pretty much. Anyways... Uh, and we're home free once again. Ah, oh, almost did another triple jump. Yeah, I'm not too good at uh, doing triple jumps on those moving platforms. I've always noticed that in my previous playthroughs of this game. Uh, okay. And that'll open a secret level. Which we won't actually be taking care of this part. Or the next part. 
The part after that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, anyways, 8-3. Right off the bat, you notice that this lava is not messing around. And it's also incredibly weird. And you can almost die. Wow, that was very close. You're gonna have to watch those lava waves. Yeah. I don't know what's causing the waves. Like, wouldn't they die down? Like, any sort of logical ripple? I mean, it's not even the school year, and I can tell that this is illogical. Although the school year for me does start in, like, uh, it starts the day after tomorrow when I'm filming this. Alright, take two. That's what I get for rushing. Alright, right here. Going to have to be very careful. Wait for the lava waves to uh, to fully dissipate before moving on. Just take your time. There's no rush. Don't be intimidated by those seconds on the clock. They mean nothing unless you decide to sleep in this level. Now, for this second star coin, I highly recommend entering from this side and just following the lava forward, uh, following the lava backward. All right, so. I'm just gonna get me uh, an ice flower. Get it in midair like a bouse. Alright, moving on. Whoa! Take that fire bomb thing. Oh! Yeah! Never thought you'd be frozen, huh? Okay, let's see. That's how you get that third star coin, baby. Woohoo! All right, only one death. That's pretty good. Moving on. And with that, this level is over. And I've once more regained my 99 life thing. Mario takes off his cap, and the path opens to the mini fortress, which we will take care of next part on New Super Mario Brothers We Walk Through. Bye bye.